Active Traders, this is Ken Calhoun from TradeMastery.com with a coverage of today's winning charts from our live room for our members. Let's take a look. Recording this here at the tail end of the session, the S&P has been in quite a good directional uptrend today. We had plenty of good alerts for our members, so we'll take a look at some of these charts right now. Now, one of our smart members had mentioned GoPro, and that's one thing I like is the teamwork here from our traders. Our long call had been 1180. And you can see right now it's ran up over 40 cents, pulling back just a bit, but that was a cut pattern, gap continuation breakout. Had a bullish cup right here. Long trigger is 1180, ran all the way up to 1220. So it's a nice little start. A new long might be over, say, 1230, but started off doing really well for us. Another winner today is US Steel, X the ticker. We're in at 2640 and out near the 267. And if you got back in at the 2640 for a secondary alert, it's all the way up here to just under 27. Now, again, one thing that I like to teach traders is to sell right under whole numbers. So, for example, for any of you who are here in the room, uh, if you had taken 2640, now would be a good time to tighten up a trailing stop to say 2680 to book at least a 40 cent profit on this. The next long would be over the whole number, say over 2710. Another winner we had today was Freeport McMoran, FCX, the ticker. I called it long when it was down here in real time. I said, we go long if it gets over 42.6. You can see that ran up a whole dollar for us. So that was a long trigger. Our members got, all of you are here listening. Uh, you can remember I called it long at 42.6. It ran up nearly a full dollar. So that's a good play as well. Maybe good for another play up in new highs over the 43.7 label. Another winner today was MGM stock, MGM Grand. I called it long at 39.7. The reason for that was the big sustained move down was unusual for MGM. I know the stock and it ran all the way from 41.7 down to 39, which is a little extended. So on a bullish cut breakout, I said we go long over 39.7 and it ran up, you know, full 50 cents so far. So another good play. Always on the lookout for the next play in terms of where things are going to run in today's markets. And we kind of recap, you take a look at the S&P. We had the jobs report, the unemployment jobs report come out earlier this morning, led to a quick shake to the upside, then an in-market drop, then a quick recovery off the previous day's high. And the lesson learned for those of you learning how to trade is always look for pivot plays in any instrument you're trading or the stock market off the previous day's high. That's why it's so valuable to learn how to use the two-day charts here in my trading the open live room at trademastery.com forward slash live. So thanks all for being here. And if you're not yet a member, I'll see you in the room.